cars on the roads electric vehicles, right? It's not just for consumers. There's a company out in Kansas City that is making electric trucks for companies like Frito-Lay, AT&T, and others. Brian Hansel is the CEO of Smith Electric Vehicles, and he joins us now from Washington, D.C., based in Kansas City, I believe. Brian, welcome to Fox Business. It's Brian and Dagan, so it should be easy to remember at least my name. Uh, let's talk about your, your business here. I mean, obviously, you got some pretty big names of companies that are buying your trucks. How big are you going to get? Well, it's going to be interesting, and we've really, we are excited about the quality companies that we have on board, and I think it really does show the leadership that we're seeing in corporate America. I mean, these guys really understand the importance of the environment, and so uh, we see a tremendous upside because of just the overall size of their fleets and their commitment to doing the right thing. Brian, tell, me, tell us how these companies are going to be using these electric trucks because they only go about 100 miles on a single charge and the maximum speed, and correct me if I'm wrong, is about 50 miles per hour. So what gaps will they be filling in in their fleets? Well, clearly this is an urban delivery vehicle, and I think that's really where we found. If you look at electric vehicles, there's been a lot of conversation for a long time about them. But if you really look at an application that works today, it is delivery. So if you look at urban environments, a lot of starts and stops. So if you look at a Frito-Lay, uh, they have obviously a ton of delivery requirements in big cities. Um, they're, they're lucky to do 30 or 40 miles a day because they have a lot of work to do between those stops, but they operate it for 10 or 12 hours. So even though 100 miles doesn't sound like a lot, it really does exceed uh, a lot of the day-to-day -day activity of most of these delivery companies. What do they cost relative to, say, a you know, gas combustion-powered competitor like a Mitsubishi or one of those flat-nosed trucks you see in New York all the time? Today, and, and that's obviously the dynamic in this market, is that we, we're early in the curve. Um, you don't have a real established supply chain, so they are expensive. Right now, they're about three times the cost for a traditional vehicle, um, but we see a very clear curve where that cost has got to come down over volume, and we've got these partners on board that really do see that same vision over the next three to five years. But the real benefit also is a, about an 80% per mile cost savings. So I know you referenced the cost of, of fuel. Uh, equivalent for us is, a, you know, electricity we equate to about 50 cents a gallon. Um, for them to operate. So as they're using these vehicles, there is a day-to-day -day savings. So how, okay, if I was a salesman for Smith Electric Vehicles, how would I sell your vehicle? Aside from the environmental side, listen, companies now are watching their balance sheets, right? They're watching yep. their cash flow. How long would it take with the cost savings on the fuel or the electricity to balance out? Or, or does it ever eventually balance out? Today, that's, we're clearly, and people ask me, where do you find a customer? And I, I got to be honest, I'm not looking for customers. I'm looking for advocates. And that's really what we found in these partners, people that say, you know what, we see what's being produced today, and I can go out and buy the Isuzu equivalent, or I can do those things, but I don't really believe three, five, seven years from today potentially even be allowed to be on the road. Right? There's, there's a lot of emission standards and concern about you know, re reduction of emissions in these big fleets. And so they're saying, guys, what we've asked them to do is step up at the table, put these vehicles in the market, not looking for an ROI on the first, you know, 100 trucks they put out, but really make the investment so we both can move forward, drive the cost down, and we feel very confident within the next, you know, 24 months that we're going to be able to show them a very, very strong financial story because the costs are going to come down because the volume goes up. And obviously, you know, they, they do use these vehicles for 10 to 12 years on average, and they certainly, even with the early cost being high, they will get a return over that time. Not the typical return we'd expect a CFO in those companies to want, but it certainly is going to give them a return. But what they're really betting on is two years from today where they can be a meaningful part of their total fleet. Brian, how much of that financial story is built on better incentives from the government to buy and operate these trucks? Today there's no question that's a critical piece, and I have to say over the last you know, six months, the, the vision of this administration to create this industry has been amazing, and we've got the Department of Energy who's, who's really stepped up. They've put a lot of very innovative grant and loan programs out there to really try to create an opportunity for not only people like ourselves building the product, but for our supply chain, and really you know, the battery manufacturers and a number of the other people that are the infrastructure components that really are mandatory to make this a success, but that, that capital is making it into the market. They, those supply chains are coming online, and it's pretty simple to see the cost coming down. Brian, are you hiring? Absolutely, every day. Who, what kind of people? A lot of people out watching this show may need a job. What kind of people are you looking for? Again, this is a, a new area, and that's one of the things that, that is dynamic about you know, creating a, basically a new industry. So you know, if you look in our factory, we've basically got three key areas. We've got, you know, obviously on the electrical side, you have to understand high voltage applications, low voltage, and then just good mechanical people to, to bolt these trucks together. So just, you know, you know, your typical skilled employees, but we definitely are looking for those that are coming out of trades that understand, you know, electricity. All right. Well, Brian Hansel, CEO of Smith Electric Vehicles, good luck and good to hear about a company hiring. Thank you.